Hello, my name is Jeremy Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y. I want to thank the sonographer. I think she's been one of the only ones who has been able to keep up with some of the fast-paced speeches that you know some of us give. We tend to get a little passionate and a little speedy, and you're doing an excellent job. We've heard a little bit tonight about trust the process. The problem is that I do trust the process, and if the law was absolute, we wouldn't need attorneys. There's probably $5,000 an hour of attorneys hanging around in this room tonight. And the process, and the way the law is designed, is it can sway one way or the other, whichever way you want it to go. But that's just the way the law is written. So if you guys want to cite this power plant, you can form an argument to say, well, we're forming it because of these reasons around the law. Counter to that, if you didn't want to cite this power plant here, you could form your arguments around that. You know, you've been given plenty of expert testimony on both sides, both for and against it, and you could argue the law both ways. I just want to point out a few reasons why some of us don't trust the process. In the Energy Facility and Citing Act 42-98-8, it says, the application, this is just in regards to accepting the application, the application shall contain at least the following where applicable. Um, in the engineering world, when you're looking at specification, shall means you are going to do it. There's no question about it, you're going to do it. I'm assuming it's got to be the same way in law, as I'm not an attorney. And then if you scroll down to subsection 7, it says a study of alternatives to the proposed facility, including alternatives as to the energy sources, methods of energy production, and sites for the facility. I want to point you to that word and. And means you're going to do all of those. If there was the word or, you could do one or all of them. The word and means you have to. If you look through Invenergy's application, nowhere in their application have they specified an alternate site. They haven't. It's not in there. Matter of fact, if you look in their application, section 10.1, uh, they say the power generation, uh, this is 10.1 power generation alternatives. The power generation production process alternatives considered included fossil fuels, renewable energy technologies, wind, solar, biomass, geothermal and hydropower, energy efficiency and conservation, and the no action alternative. So in their own application, they admitted that they left out a section for requiring the application. So I pointed this out to Governor Raimondo when I was talking with her after her trip to Barville. And how can we trust the process if we feel that the process is even followed right down to accepting their application? Um, that's all I have to say. And, you know, I strongly oppose this power plan. And we know if you guys did too, that you can form your opinion around the law to say that this power plan, you know, will not get approved. But that's entirely up to you and how you decide how you want to form your opinions around the law. Thank you.